COP21 is, uh, is an odd kind of acronym. Uh, it stands for Com Conference of the Parties uh, 21, so it's the 21st of these Conference of the Parties. Uh, and it's run by the United Nations uh, and their Framework Convention on Climate Change. The aim of them is essentially to, to bring nations together. So they have uh, world leaders um, there in force, all the nations coming together to, to look at how we can tackle climate change. Uh, so they have a, a big job, obviously, in terms of not just addressing climate change through mitigation, which is cutting greenhouse gas emissions, but also how we can deal with the impacts of climate change. So this thing called adaptation, making our, our countries, our people, our businesses, infrastructure, houses, everything more resilient to the impacts of climate change. Climate change is, is clearly one of the uh, most important challenges of this era uh, and it's been one of the uh, most uh, serious preoccupations of, of the university in the last years. We'll be sending a group of academics as, as conference delegates who represent the various areas of expertise in the university around uh, climate science and climate change. We're also taking a group of students there to build that understanding of how a, a big international summit works. So uh, when they graduate, um, I guess many of them will find themselves in positions of influence in the public and private sector. Uh, they'll have a sense of how it is that they can make an impact through their organisations uh, on such a, a significant international conference. Students from a range of backgrounds should be interested in these types of negotiations that are going on because ultimately the decisions that are being agreed on at the moment are really for targets we're setting decades from now up to 2050, which is really primarily this kind of generation's full working life. And those decisions will impact um, and everything from the way we live, to the energy systems, to the way businesses conduct themselves, the products we buy, all of those will be issues that we'll all be having to deal with. So Edinburgh Action for the Climate is a new campaign aiming to get the whole university staff, students, alumni working with us on our key contribution to this vital topic, so our research that we do, our teaching and the way we run ourselves as a business. It means lots of small things that we can all do as a university community, everything from switching off lights to the way we run our buildings and how we go about moving ourselves around. And I think it also means the teaching that we do to our students and the real desire from our students to know more about this subject. So I think the idea is this is across the university and all of us doing our bit to try and maximise our contribution to this vital issue. I'm going to the Conference of the Parties 21 in Paris um, primarily um, to look at the negotiations from the standpoint of the university. We do great work on climate change research here in, in Edinburgh University, but also on the teaching side. I mean, our capacity building in terms of the students we train and then send out around the world. And I'd love to see the, this COP and the agreement give a, a, a clear message to us as a university and to Scotland more widely in terms of uh, our role in helping that capacity building, our training of the new generations of not just world leaders, but the new generations of renewable energy experts, the new generations of adaptation experts who can really um, put all of that rhetoric that comes out of the climate conference, but make it reality in terms of action on the ground and around the world, so developing and developed world nations, really uh, stepping up to the plate on climate change.